Here in Cincinnati, Great American Ballpark in a city steeped in baseball history. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Luke Weaver. Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got to pitch aggressively, and he's got to pitch inside. Now it's the shortstop, Trey Turner. And a pitch. That misses. And we are underway. The 1 0. Gets the outside corner with that one. The pitch. Ball. Two balls, one strike. You're nothing, Philly. And fouled off. Righty delivers. Line drive, speared at first. Votto Out. takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Second. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Trey Turner. Ah, Boog, what a great talent. I mean, the kind of player who can dominate a game at times, be a perennial all-star. He's going to take home some hardware as well. I mean, he's one of the best in the game today and always fun to watch. And now it's Alec Bohm. Three hits last night. So he was a big factor in getting that win. Ball one there. Well, he's so oh, no. great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Out in front and foul to the left side. The pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Senzel makes the grab for the second out. That is third. The center field. Two outs, base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. And ball one. Out. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Late swing, fouled off. Next Two offering one. in the dirt, 2-1. and one. That one lifted to left. Fraley right there to make the grab. And that's the third out. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark and today's starting pitcher, Taiwan Walker. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year, a sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-twos, they're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ballgame every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year, opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, 
I'm loving every minute of it. Ellie De La Cruz stands in now and watches strike one. Wind in the pitch. Looked like Ball, it was a little go. bit up. It's a good take. The other way. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Good job of just putting the ball in play with right, two strikes. Right. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now it's Nick Senzel. Good eye right there. pitch in the air right side that gets down for a hit lead runner holds up they're at first and second with nobody out Tyler Stevenson the next to hit for the Reds hitless last night and they only scored one run in there for strike one And a pitch. That's down and in. Next one misses. And a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. And the batter now is Joey Votto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. That one in there, across the letters. Runners at first and second with one gone. Leave it up. Stays alive. Yeah, the right hander deals. And delivers outside. Jake Fraley, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. Two on, one out. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left-hand hitter waits. 
Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And here it comes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is good. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds, appeared as a pinch hitter yesterday. Back in the lineup for this one. First offering, and it just misses. De La Cruz on second. Senzel on at first with two down. The pitch. That one missing inside. Bounced up the middle. Save! Hey, he's in there. That is good. Jonathan India at the play. 0 for 4 in the loss yesterday. And that's ripped into left. Could be extra bases. One runs in. The second run scores. Cut off now and throw home. See? And they're up by three. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So two down, Will Myers now. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First Whoa. offering, misses the mark. Singing some numbers fun with Taiwan Walker, originally drafted by the Mariners. His number was 44. That was his favorite number growing up. When he got traded to the Diamondbacks, that was Paul Goldschmidt's number. Switched to 99 when he moved to Toronto. Hunjin Ryu at 99, so he went double zero. Eventually landed with the Mets, but Mr. Met. Oh, now this ball gets down. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. And they lead by four. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Two outs, runner at first. And here is T.J. Friedel. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And the righty deals. No, that's the ball. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two outs. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. He goes down looking. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. We move to the second here in Cincinnati. It's the Reds four and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. Here's the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. 
twice. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised. Righty to the plate. Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age. But he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. Next pitch is outside. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Out towards right center field. India settles under this one. And there's one down. That is good. The left fielder, Kyle Warburg. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Fouled off. He was late. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Schwarber out of the play. And there's two away. That is good. The catcher, JT. And now it is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And that one almost got him. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Jack swing, went around, and the count is even two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. On the ground at first. He handles it himself. That ends the frame. Down quickly go the Phillies. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back here in Cincinnati, we head to the bottom of the second and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners back in 2010 and a guy who's put together a very solid career. He was an all-star with the Mets in 2021. Next offering is fouled back. Well, showed a lot of promise early on, but dealt with some injuries there and a lack of consistency. But over the last couple of seasons has really found it. Like the way that he commands that two-seam fastball, you don't see a whole lot of guys using that pitch as much as they used to, but he's got a good thing working with it. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. 
not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. De La Cruz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. And a 1-0. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. <laughs> Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. Now the batter now, Nick Senzel. There's the strike. Next offering is fouled back. The O2. Him looking, that's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here at the ballpark, here's Nicholas Castellanos. The designated hitter. Nick Castellanos, Castellanos starting as the designated hitter. 31 years old, a former first round pick back in 2010. The right hander back to work. And yeah, that's outside. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. At the belt and fires. Top of the zone for a called strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. What a way. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Ball one low. One ball, no strike. Hoskins pushes it foul. Swing and a ball popped up, and there's two away. Got it, huh? The second baseman, Josh. And Harrison. now for the Phillies, Josh Harrison. Ball one, no strikes. Okay. 
And it's fouled away. The next Whoa. offering misses, and it's two and one. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. Good eye in that spot. Trey Turner to bat next. Three two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Turner in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Here comes the 0-1. Foul ball. 2022 turned out to be a banner year for Trey Turner. Won the Silver Slugger. He was the National League starter at shortstop in the All-Star game. And as well, 21 homers, 100 runs batted in, and 27 stolen bases. That one down the line. Harrison leads off first with two down to the inning. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Shot back to the mound, and he gloves it. The throw to first, out. and they get Turner for the out. That's the third out. Philly strand one. They trail it here for nothing. here at Great American Ballpark we as we go to the last of the third. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Wide to kick the pitch. In the dirt. On to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. At the play, Joey Votto. No. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Left field, Schwarber settles under it. Makes the grab, two down. This is important, if he can go one, two, three here, will yeah, be man. a very positive sign for him yeah. and for his team. Fraley. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Here comes the 1 And a foul ball.
The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. Now one and two. Just misses with that one. And a pitch. Fraley checks his swing, appeal to third, and yes, he offered at it. And one, two, three, go the Reds. But they lead it four to nothing. Welcome back. Onto the fourth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. The pitch. That misses. One and oh. There's a strike. And another ball. Two one. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Puts the squeeze on it. One up, one down. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. First offering misses the mark. That one missed. The Phillies still looking for their first hit in this one. And that is in for a strike. That's strike one. And he deals. Swing and a pop-up. India under it. And it's caught for the out. Now batter. The right fielder. Bryce. Bryce Harper, Harper to the plate. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Chris, you think about oh, no. memorable performances in the home run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018, and Bryce Harper, with his dad throwing to him, put on quite a performance and won the home run derby. Yeah, that's too high. Yeah, probably the biggest moment in Nationals Park for Harper, and he would have loved that to have been a World Series appearance, but it was an All-Star game and a home run derby where he just took the crowd by storm. 2-0 is in for a strike. Three. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies down in order. They're down 4-0. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jonathan India. And a pitch. 
And that's in the dirt. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Now one and one. The wind and the pitch. Two two. And that one just missed off the outside edge. This one popped up. Boom. Under it. He's got it. Then there's one down. The right fielder, number four, Will. So up next, Will Myers. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch misses inside, ball one. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One -one. A little out front there as he swings through it. And now the count is even. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now that the designated hitter. They're back in trouble, Boo, and it's just been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch, and I think he's got a very short leash right now. Really needs to lock it down here. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. They say you win. No ball. One strike. He's gone. He's Myers gone. goes. There's a the ball. Throw to second and great jump. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Righty delivers. And there's the strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Misses oh. outside. Two balls, two strikes. Myers leads off second with one gone in the inning. Still two and two after the foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Ball three. Ball He's down. been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Here comes a three two. Good plate oh, appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. On the ground, two ball. There's one, and that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four.
It's the Reds four and the Phillies nothing. We go to the top of the fifth and digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Weaver back to work. Chris, remember the Cubs won it all in 2016. Well, Kyle Schwarber suffered a regular season ending left knee injury two games into the year, April 7th. He had torn ligaments in that knee. Next offering is downstairs. But he was added to the World Series roster and became the first position player to collect a hit in the World Series after going hitless during the regular season. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they're on the board. It's 4-1. That one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Going two now. And yeah, there's a the ball. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The punch out there, one gone here. It's been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday, another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Castellanos, batting with one down, takes a strike. That one found hard the other way. Next pitch, not close, up high. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Tap back to the mound. Now the throw to first on the run. And Castellanos is out. The first baseman, number 17, Reese. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Good ball. eye right there. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, bottom of the inning. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Ellie De La Cruz. And a pitch. That one hooked foul. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. And one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Matt Strom, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Bellotti getting loose as well. Next one in the dirt. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 2-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. Ball. That's no. a little bit low. Full count. A screamer into the outfield. Jordan makes the catch, and there's one gone. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets oh, under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Now the number two hitter, Nick Senzel. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Short hop liner, handled it short. Fires to first. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. The catcher, Tyler. Stevenson. Two outs, base is empty. Tyler Stevenson will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missed. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. Next pitch has popped up. Hoskins on his way over. Drops into the glove, and that will end the inning. Reds go down quietly, but they lead it 4-1. to one. here at Great American Ballpark, top six. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. The pitch. That one misses, and that is ball one. Just off the outside edge. Kicks and fires. Line drive, caught! The back of the set. Kick, play, Turner. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner at the plate. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. Fly ball down the line. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now 
about that. Third base. So two down oh. now, and here is oh. Alec Bohm. First pitch, and he just misses. 1 0. They say you win. 1 1. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Antone getting cranked up as well. At the belt and fires. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. And here comes David Bell as he's ready to make the change. Go to his bullpen. Luke Weaver gives way. And a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Pitching change here, Joel Cunell. A chance at his first save of the year. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the power speed combo. Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. 0-1. Cunell in his second season. He features a slider, a sinker, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next offering misses down and away. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. That one off the mark, and it's 2-1. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Nice work from the Cincinnati pen there. To the bottom of the six we go, 4-5-6 coming up. It's the Reds four and the Phillies one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Strom. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. The first baseman. Votto, a former MVP, a member of the 2000 hit club, and he was a second round pick back in 2002. Ball one, one there. Well, these Reds, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat, and that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Here's a 1-1. Way out front for strike two. two strike. Next offering is fouled back. Next That's one inside. off the plate Open. inside. The count now two and two.
Ball and that skips into dirt. Down. Check swing. It's a full count offering. Appeal to third. No swing. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's the left fielder, Jake Fraley, one for two. First offering misses the mark. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Gregory Soto, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's out to center field. Jordan on the move. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The batter, number six, second baseman, Jonathan. And ready to hit down for Cincinnati, Jonathan India. India, 26 years old, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Look out! And it hit him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. And now here is Will Myers. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Two on, one out. Pitch is into dirt. And now it's even one and one. Votto at second, India at first, one gone. In the dirt, blocked. Runners stay put and the count moves to two and one. And he deals. Boils that one and it remains two and two. And the pitch. Foul ball, another two two upcoming. Slow roller to third. Boom. Fires to second for one. And that's two. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Reds four and the Phillies one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Lucas Sims. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Harper now. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And a pitch. That's down and in. Sims, known as a guy with pretty lights-out type stuff, racks up the strikeouts, but the command at times can elude it. The 1-0. Ball. 2-0. This one chopped in the ground, but foul.
is Harper the count two and one and that's through there for a strike yeah and a manager in a situation like this this type of pitcher has to stay alert and ready he's got to make sure he's watching from pitch to pitch hitter to hitter to quickly get another reliever up in the bullpen if he needs to bring someone in and that should be extra bases around first heading for two and he starts the seventh with a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that lack of command, that's usually one of the things that leads guys to be converted from starter to reliever. Yeah, and it's such a short stint when you compare the two roles, starting and relieving. You hope that guy could find strike one right away when he comes in. No outs, runner on second. Next offering is in for a strike. And a 1-2. Up the middle. Fires over to first. Schwarber out of the play. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Real Muto in the box again, takes a strike. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two down. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in, so... Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Castellanos stands in here. Oh, Tried to hold strike. back his swing there, but went around. Two outs with a runner at third. Comes up empty on the swing. Only two now. And the righty deals. Going to count one and two. Righty to the plate. Bows it off. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. Next offering is outside. Runner at third, two away. Next pitch is outside, and the count is filled up. Reese Hoskins hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat, and they'd love to give him a shot here. Struck him out looking. One left for Philadelphia, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Gregory Soto gets the call from the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game.
And now it's going to be T.J. Friedel. He's 0 for 1. A designated hitter. T.J. Friedel. And a pitch. Soto, an all-star a season ago. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he works in a changeup. That one not close. Now 2-0. Just oh, missed. Down. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Oh, and a 3 0 finds his own. That one to first. Hoskins handles the chance. He steps on the bag and one away in the bottom of the seventh. So digging in, Spencer Steer. That's off the mark, and it's 1-0. Oh. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And that one fouled off. One one now. And that's oh. outside. This one popped up. Harrison has a beat on it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Up next in Cincinnati, the shortstop, Ellie. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit. A switch hitter batting right. In there, and it's 0-1. Next pitch has popped up. Harrison moving under this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Reds down in order as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. T.J. Antone gets the ball now. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Hoskins. The why to kick the pitch. And ball one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Check swing. Went around. That's strike two. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. The wind of the pitch. And now it's three and two. Ground 
Right-handed reliever stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Goes down looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished right down the middle. Just a little bit in and he couldn't pull the trigger. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. And oh. delivers outside. Way oh. inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just oh, missed. Rio. Real down. Yeah. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Three oh, one, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Trey Turner now. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Two balls, no strikes to count. And another ball. Harrison, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. High fly ball, right field. Myers in position. Hauls it in for the out. Now that at the third baseman, Alec Bohm. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. One for three. Next offering is down low. Ball one. And downstairs. Well, oh, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. They get the force. And that is that. Philly strand one, and they trail it 4-1. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Andrew Bellotti. Pretty tight game, so they're Ladies looking for quality pitches like out of them right three. here. Got to do his now best to keep the score the right where it is. Number 64, Andrew Bellotti. And now the center fielder, Nick Senzel. He'll take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. A strike in there. Movement in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon getting loose out there. Righty delivers, 
Yeah, One, that's two. too high. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. The bat. The catcher. Here's the catcher to hit, Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson. Lined in the left center, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be Double aggressive. Three. Great Double hands three. on that swing. Took the barrel Double right three. to the baseball, caught it out front, and nipped it into the gap. At that point, probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. Check swing to the first pitch. Got? Looked down to third. Did not go. The 1 0. Swing and a foul straight back. Kicks and deals. And now two balls and a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Ball. That's a really good Who's take down? right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. pitch got him two gone now really good battle right there and that final pitch probably could have gone either way he was hoping he'd get ball four instead the umpire rings him up for the backwards K and at first Jake Fraley digs in now first pitch just misses Stevenson, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. And now two and two. Into center. And that is that. Now, and on the mound, the closer, Alexis Diaz. He's been so good against lefties. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. The pitch. 
just oh, off the that. outside part of the plate, Diaz. In his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a two-seamer. And the 1-0. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Ball. Out to short. Roll over to Votto. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now batting the right fielder, Bryce. Here's Bryce Harper. Harper. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Overrated. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Uno. there at the knees and a pitch and a count one and two and a pitch and that one hit 97 on the gun not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Schwarber in the box now. No balls in a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that Ball. bite at the end and it stays out one over one. the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Next pitch is outside. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schaumann. Thanks for joining us.